What up guys, the Delta016 here. I know it's been quite a while since my last video. Um, how long exactly has it been? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Just give me a second. That's what I'm just about to find out. But now I know it's been quite a while. Quite a while. Just how long quite is, we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. It's been five months. Five months since my last video. That time has blurred pretty much. Um, so I've decided to do my What to Expect for 2015 episode. I know it's an annual thing and I decided to do it uh, a little bit early. I know it's only November right now, but um, I figured I might as well do it early because there's a couple of things I need to explain um, and what better way to do it than with this. So um, I'm going to post a couple of questions that have been asked of me by um, a couple of friends on PlayStation when I've actually been on because my PS3 is finally gone kaput, won't read any discs that I put in but that's another story. Um, so I've had a couple of questions from uh, YouTubers. Um, a couple of my college friends have asked me, so uh, I'm just going to post those questions and I'll answer them for you. So here comes the first one. Okay, so this was the main one. What happened to the Kinect Armory and will there be any more? Um, now I know I did a zombie thing to the last series of the Kinex Armory, but I couldn't really commit to that because the set I was using was my dad's garage and of course I didn't see my dad on a regular week, on a regular basis. I used to see him every Saturday and it would be the odd occasional one, but he hasn't seen me a lot over the year. Um, so I couldn't really commit to it. Um, so I think it would be better to just return to my old set, not do much of a theme outside of like you know, like a video game, like I did with Black Ops 2. Um, so, I have, I can confirm that I have stopped that series of the Kinex Armory. I haven't stopped the Kinex Armory as a whole, which answers the second question. Will there be any more? Of course there will be some, some more. There's plenty of guns out there that I can do, both real and fictional. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare has just come out. I can make a couple of guns from that, hopefully. Uh, there's still a couple of Call of Duty Ghost guns I haven't made. There's some Black Ops guns I haven't made. There's Modern Warfare 2 guns I haven't made. There's World at War guns I haven't made. There's Battlefield games I can make. You know, there's just a whole world of guns, fictional and real, that I can make out of Kinects. So, yes, the Kinex Armory zombie series, uh, I can't remember what series number it was, I think it was 4. Yeah, the Kinex Armory series 4 has been stopped. So, at the moment, you have only the FMG9 from Modern Warfare 3, um, the Maverick from Ghosts, and of course Wolverine's Claws. They're the only ones you'll have of this zombie series. It's finished co completely. Um, basically, what will happen in the new year is I will... I want to say reboot, but it's not really a reboot, because if it was a reboot, it would mean I'd ignore... The past four series of the Kinex Armory and just start again and remake them, but it's not. It's it's a reboot. It's a reboot, but it's not. You know, so I'm restarting the Kinex Armory. Um, there won't be a theme outside of you know. Uh, maybe I'll do a series that's nothing but video game guns. Maybe I'll do a series that's nothing but uh, special forces guns, fictional guns, um, a particular game guns, like I did with Black Ops 2. I did a whole series of Black Ops 2 guns. Um, so I might, I will do something like that. So in a way, I'm rebooting the Kinex Armory, but in a way, it's staying the same. It's continuing. It's not going to remake any of the other guns. I might go back and remake a couple of them. The M1216 shotgun, now that I look at it, I wasn't too impressed with how I pulled it off, so I might come up with a, might try and come up with a new, uh, mechanism for that. The PDW57, at the time, Black Ops 2 was yet to be released. And I didn't have any clean images of the gun, so I might remake that. Uh, we'll just see what happens. Um, we'll just see what happens with that. 
So there you are. The answer is the Connect Armory has been stopped, but it will restart in the new year. It will be rebooted. Um, there will be plenty more Connect guns. So I think the only time that I will ever stop the Connect Armory is if I run out of ideas for guns. But come on, there's plenty out there. And if games like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare come out, we're going to get more fictional guns. Uh, there's a few sci-fi games that I've played. There's Star Wars. There's plenty of fictional guns in there. And um, I probably won't get a huge response. But I might have my own create a gun competition. Or I might even just create my own. Uh, just put pieces of different guns together. Maybe even pieces of guns I have made together. And show you the results. So there's the answer to that question. Next question please. Okay, this wasn't asked as much as the Connects Armory, but it was certainly asked of me. What happened to the Delta Discussions video or videos of your love life? Um, simply put, um, it was they were pretty much like Marmites. You know, I mean, I don't know if it's sold around the world, but particularly here in the UK, Marmite is one of those things you either love it or you hate it. I hate it. Really hate Marmite. Um, so I guess. The Delta Discussions videos about my love life were Marmite. You either love them, interested in how I am with girls and how many girlfriends I've had and experiences with them, or you hate it and you think, I don't want to know this. But in the reason behind it was uh, a couple of people who I didn't even mention. Sorry, I, that's a lie. Um, one person I did mention, I think took it the wrong way. Basically, I had explained that she was one of the reasons why me and Vicky got together. She took it the wrong way and said, I wasn't. I wasn't behind you two getting together. She didn't give me enough time. To, she didn't give me time to explain it to her. Basically, how it, how it works, I can't remember if I explained it in the video, but it's gone now, so I'm going to have to re-explain it. Um, she was the girl that I told I liked Vicky. Um, I had asked her who she was, and uh, she told me, um, it's Vicky, and uh, and then I said, I kind of like her, I, I think she's pretty, and then that lunchtime she came to me and told me that Vicky was coming down, so I don't know how she took it the wrong way, I don't know how she took that the wrong way, there was no other way to take it, I told you that I'd like to go. And then you told me she was coming down. You must have told her, or someone must have told her. I'm, um, yeah, that was that was pretty much it. The strange thing was none of the girls that I've dated have actually actually saw the video. Vicky hadn't seen the video. Erica hadn't seen it. Tamara hadn't seen it. Uh, Chelsea, Aaliyah, and Tasha they hadn't seen the videos. To be honest, I'm quite glad they didn't because. What would have happened if they took it the wrong way, the same as uh, this girl did? I'm not going to name her. Um, really shouldn't name the others, but I really don't know how she took it the wrong way. But there you have it. Um, I might, I might do more Delta discussions, but they might be on different subjects. Maybe not so much about my life. Maybe one or two of them would be about my life, but most of them will be like, um, you know, my view on. PlayStation versus Xbox, uh, Call of Duty versus Battlefield, uh, Star Wars versus Star Trek, or Marvel versus DC, you know, stuff like that. You know, my views on them, uh, why I like one and why I dislike the other, and you know, stuff like that. Because um, I've now got to be careful, I guess. I don't want to post stuff that will, you know, cause trouble like the Love Life ones did. Um, uh, because that's the one thing I don't like. I don't like hurting people. I mean, I apologized to her when I told her that she was in one, that I mentioned her in the videos. She obviously went and watched it and then came back and said, you jerk, and took it the wrong way. Yeah, uh, didn't give me a chance to explain it. And then she blocked me. Sorry, she didn't block me. She unfriended me, but she said if I tried to talk to her again, she would block me. And that was, I think, earlier this year. Um, I haven't tried talking to her. To be honest, I don't really care if she does block me or not. She's an old, she's a friend from secondary school. I've got friends at college. Um, so it, I don't want to sound mean, but it really doesn't bother me if she does block me or not. Um, so yeah, 
So that's why the Delta Discussions Love Life video went, videos are gone. Because, yes, some people were interested, some people thought they were good videos, but then it's a couple of people who maybe took, the, took something the wrong way and thought, this is stupid. So I thought, I don't want to hurt anyone else. I may have said a couple of bad things about the girls I was with, but I don't want to hurt them, so I took them down. It's the safest option. It really is. So that is the answer to that one. Uh, next one. Okay, I can recall at least one person asking me this. Where is the winning Black Ops 2 Connects gun video? I know I've, I've made plans to make it, but most of them have fallen through. Um, I wasn't able to go through with them and stuff like that. Um, I will show you the winning one because it, it will be upgraded. Because it was in Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2 had zombies. I can tell you the winning gun did not appear in zombies. So what I'm going to do is pack a punch it my own way and upgrade it. Um, and uh, I guess that'll be the closest thing you'll get to the winning video. Um, there's not much else I can say about it because there's not. I don't have a lot of skill when it comes to making videos like that. I mean, filming the guns I can do, and I experimented with adding effects to some of them, like the SVU AS video. Yeah, um, but I didn't have the program to do it, so um, I couldn't. I couldn't do it um, for every episode. So. I will say it, there's a strong possibility of it reappearing. It will turn up. Just um, I I won't announce it. It will be a surprise. So you'll get it when you get it. That's as best as I can put it. Okay. The reason why there hasn't been any new videos since the Maverick Connects or Day in the Life or Delta Discussions. Is because I was ill over the whole year, near enough. Um, basically, um, for two years, I had been not myself. I'd had weird symptoms, if you will. And uh, talking to my doctor earlier this year, I think it was around April time, I found out that I have anxiety. And I've been suffering from it for the whole year. It's been worse. And the summer, I did nothing. I couldn't go out anywhere, I couldn't do anything, but I couldn't do nothing. The anxiety was just, it was torture to live with. I'm still not 100%, but I think I might be well enough to do more videos for the Kinex Armory over 2015. Um, so I guess the anxiety kind of took my focus. Um, I have been commenting on stuff on YouTube, I have been watching videos, I just haven't been making them. Um, it is, anxiety is just, it's really not nice. If there was something I could take to get rid of it completely, I would, but unfortunately I can't. It's all up in here. Now, it could be down to anything. Um, it could be down to my past. Um, when I was about five, my parents split. Um, my mum married someone new, I had a sister. Uh, met new people, uh, had a new family, new side of the family, uh, a new life, new school, new people to meet. So maybe that was more traumatic than I thought it was. Maybe it's affected me more than I thought. And maybe I just all compartmentalized it into a wardrobe in the back of my head and maybe something has just caused it all to fly forward. It could have been my friend who committed suicide two years ago. Um, because this all started about six months after he died. Um, it could be, I mean, it's a daft reason, but it's possible that maybe, because I am still thinking of her, I can't help it, but it's not as often as it used to, maybe I'm still not fully over uh, Vicky splitting with me. Um, maybe it's my nan's death that has made it worse. I am more inclined to say that, yes, my friend who committed suicide maybe brought it all forward, but my nan maybe made it worse because, you know, it was a close family member. I'm still feeling the pain of it. Or it could be something else uh, to do with school that I haven't told anyone else except a couple of friends because I know they're not going to tell my parents. Um, it could it could just be anything. Um, I'm getting help 
Um, I'm getting help. I hope it's sorted before March, April time, 2015, because I've got a holiday to Florida. I do not want to be ill for that, because this anxiety is actually stopping me from travel near enough. Um, I never suffered with car sickness or travel sickness or anything like that. But if I get in a car and I drive even a short distance, I feel like I'm going to chuck up. I feel like I'm going to be sick. Um, I have a couple of medication for it, not prescribed. I have something called Rescue Remedy, a couple of drops on my tongue, and it calms me down um, because I think I'm getting worked up about this. Since it's got worse, I've got worked up. It's a vicious cycle, it really is, and I've got to try and break that cycle. I will try and get this anxiety out of my head um, so that I can live a normal life because, you know, i got a future. I've got, you know, at the end of, in June 2015, I will have finished college. I will have finished education altogether. I won't need to go back um, into the education system. So I'll be out in the wide, big wide world with a job, um, thinking about uh, getting a girlfriend. Not that I'm not thinking about that. No, it's also as some people. Um, I need to think about, you know, getting a wife in the future. I know I'm only going to be, I'm going to be 20 in December. Um, you know, getting a wife, having kids, having a family, having a, a whole life. Um, and I, this anxiety is seriously going to hinder it. It's going to stop me from doing that kind of stuff. It's going to stop me going out and meeting people. It's going to stop me meeting a girl and going out with her and stuff like that. Um, so I want this anxiety gone. And I tell you now, um, I know Chaos Silencer did a video about anxiety or something similar to it that he's suffering from. Um, I can tell you now, if anyone, if any of you, any of my viewers, if they're still around, um, are suffering with anxiety or depression or something like that, get help. Talk to someone. You know, don't keep it to yourself. Don't keep it inside because that will make it worse. Trust me. Um, so talk to someone, anyone, friends, family, um, your doctor, just anyone. Get it sorted. Get help for it. Because I guarantee you, the more people that know about it, the more chance you have of fighting it and beating it. And I think slowly I am fighting this thing. Maybe not beating it completely, but I am slowly getting there. So uh, I'll be back to my usual wacky self. I've had spells where I've been a bit wacky, but not 100% wacky like I used to. Uh, so that's the reason why, since the Maverick, there hasn't been any new videos from me. is because I've been suffering from anxiety, and that's kind of taken my focus. Um, so hopefully I'll muscle through it, and you'll see more videos. Okay? So yeah, in summary, um, I've been suffering from anxiety over the past year. Um, there's been reasons why I've had to delete videos, um, why I haven't been able to commit to um, continuing a series and stuff like that. I'm not going to make any other plans. Uh, if I do have them, I will let you know And um, when it comes to them. But at the moment, the main focus, the Kinex Armory. It will be rebooted. Um, there will be a rebrand of the Delta 016, if you will, because I do graphic design at college. Um, I've, one of my challenges, one of my tasks was to make a logo, so I will make my own logo um, at college, and it will be on the Delta 016, hopefully in the new year, because um, I'm still using the one that my friend made from secondary school. Uh, so there'll be a reboot to the Delta 016, so it'll be a total rebrand, if you will. I think that's the right term. If it's not, then some, someone let me know the actual word. Um, and you will see more of me. I will be back with a vengeance, if you will. But the first task I need to do is find my fucking crate of connects. I've had a rearrange in my room. And I don't know where I put that crate. I'm friggin' useless when it comes to that kind of stuff. I have a connects gun out. Hopefully it's not broken. Um, because it's over by a couple of guns I've made out of wood. Uh, you might see those wooden guns, but, um, so I've got to find my Kinex crate before I even think of making a new Kinex gun. So uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Um, as I said, it's a bit early, but I might as well do it now. and Combine what I was originally going to do. A Delta discussion of what, what has happened to the channel and what will be coming to the channel. Combine them together to create this. So you understand what's been going on with me. <coughs> 
and what will happen. So uh, thank you for watching. Keep subscribing. Keep watching. And just keep enjoying the Kinex Armory. I'll see you all in the new year. This has been the Delta 016. Keep your head on the swivel.